Okay, uh, well, this never happens at home, right? Well, if it ever does happen, we got this thing right here to help us out. Let's do a knock knock and open it. Yep, today we're going to be talking about how to load a dishwasher. Hello kitchen dwellers, this is Angelo, the uh, steam oven guru. Today we're dealing with the aftermath of a steam oven cooking day, kind of. So we're talking about how to load everything into the dishwasher. Not really how to load everything exactly, because everybody's dishes at home is going to be different. More about the main concept about where to put things or how to put things that may make it easier to do. Okay, believe it or not, this is running right now. Quiet, right? Okay, let's look into it. Okay, so this is the inside of my dishwasher. Hashtag not sponsored. And on the door is where most dishwashers will ask to put in the detergents. There's also a small compartment here for the rinse agent. It is normally used to get rid of watermarks or drying, and you might not need it if you have a special drying system. This is where you put in the detergents, and many places especially the big name brands use too much detergents in their little pods. So I use a solid one from Mila here and uh, try to use half sometimes because we have soft water. If your water is hard, then use the whole thing and you might be able to get away with using those big pods too. Just be careful, otherwise they have residues and it's kind of not pleasant to smell. Most dishwashers have a tray on top like this now. It is called the cutlery tray and yes, they're for your cutleries. And some will have this middle part that is deeper, so you can put in things like ladles and whisks and whatnot. I have a lot of chopsticks, so that would go on one side as well, so they don't fall into the little baskets on the bottom. The middle part is more for your bowls and your mugs and such. The lever here on the left or right will raise and lower the baskets to make room for above or below. Some extra racks on the side just in case if you need them, and most of these racks here are to hold the bowls together. The bottom basket is where most of the storage happens. That's where most of your dinner plates, big pots, or even those big Dutch oven pots. This one has these wine glass holders, and because of this little guy, we do need those now. I mean, who doesn't need some wine once in a while, right? And anything gillow in this dishwasher will come off, so uh, or move in some way or the other. And this back part is really removable for putting in larger pots. Middle part has also a holder for a decanter, once again, because of this guy. And these little things will kind of fall down to make more room for things when needed. Let's talk about loading now. So these dishwashers will normally have three spinning arms for spraying the water. And the idea is to evenly lay out whatever you're trying to wash within the reach of one of those three arms that everything washes properly. I normally load the cutlery tray in groups of the proper cutleries, so when removing, it becomes really easy and quick and straight into the drawer. On the second shelf is going to be where we put all of the bowls and containers and anything of the sorts, and just make sure whatever you're doing do have their openings facing downwards towards this spin arm so that everything gets washed properly. You can stagger things and also squeeze small things in between here and there. As long as you have enough coverage, you're okay. And I will normally use these side racks just to get some more storage when possible. So sorry for not having any kind of a proper place in this video at all, because once again, you saw what was uh, we are dealing with. And we were just using these steam trays from the steam oven earlier, so we're going to give them a wash as well. Normally the bottom rack for us gets much more full than this, but you know what? Today is not bad. And that's pretty much it. Make sure that everything gets washed properly and hit start and you're good to go. Hey, thank you so much for watching and I hope I was able to help improve your home appliance experience. If you found this information to be interesting or maybe even helpful, why not leave a like, subscribe, comment any questions, or better yet, share with one or two friends who might find this interesting or useful. 
there will be a couple of videos now to take you to other related contents. And also you can go to my channel where the playlist will be categorized under each appliance group for your convenience. All of the products are not sponsored in my videos unless otherwise stated. And I hope to learn more together about the appliance world with you. See you next time and have fun in the kitchen.